stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Uh, dapat we go beyond, as as we say uh, all the time, we go beyond um, June and celebrate Pride every day. Saan mo tig- uh, ngayon parang pag-iisipin mo, uh, lagi tayong na-invite na ngayon, no? kahit na hindi LGBT na sobrang focused yung discussion. The Philippine LGBT Chamber of Commerce is uh, uh, usually invited. Uh, natutuwa nga rin ako kasi pag naririnig ng friends ko, meron pa ng Philippine LGBT Chamber of Commerce. Tapos, uh, they're very excited. So, um, katulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, naka, dapat talaga 365 days of the year celebrate natin ang Pride, hindi lang tuwing June. I agree with Jelle, eh. para diverse. Are we really talking about colonialism? Is it really about that? Are we, are we talking about values and LGBT rights or human rights. So it's not like you need colonialism to tell you na you have to protect the life of a person, that you have to protect the person's right to express himself or herself, or you know, in whatever way uh, the person deems uh, in, based on on the person's identity. Ano ba yon? Are these values uh, so far from? pre-colonial times, di ba? Para, or at the same time, social societies change. And uh, I'd like to think more and more we're moving towards universal understanding of our connection based on uh, human rights, di ba? Based on uh, what uh, everybody you know, As so, part of the chamber, this is nga a good news because um, yun yung gusto natin, no? businesses are taking a stand against um discrimination, um, etc. So, making sure that no one is left behind. Second, as a marketer, um, I really find uh, this very, very um, beautiful because um, alam to na mga marketers na kagaya ko na there should be always truth in advertising and making sure that you are authentic as a brand to your consumer. So, maganda yung ginawa. I, I don't know. I think at, at a certain point in a, in, a, in a nation's history, someone should take a stand. And uh, someone, it, we have to begin somewhere. And uh, hindi lang siya... Para? Diba? Hindi lang siya para old versus new eh. Kasi people are, are people. We are, you know, we, but our collective desire to express ourselves, to grow as individuals, to maximize our potentials has, has have always been there since day one. So, bakit ka magkakaroon ng mga batas na magpipigil sa, sa mga tao na mag-flourish, mag-bloom, kumbaga. So, and tayo sa chamber, kakampi palagi natin ang mga businesses, authentic businesses that, uh, you know, really push for inclusion and diversity in what we, in what they do. We don't want pink baiting, di ba? We don't want tokenism. We want actions, and uh, but clear actions that are consistent to 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 LGBT uh, promotion rights. Ah, uh, nagagree ako na dapat kung service, uh, dapat walang pinipili na serbisyo na para lang sa ilang mga tao ko you, you see how good leadership no can can change things, and this is coming from you know the highest government official. Um, and all of those people na talagang uh, shaping the country. So, importante, importante talaga ang leadership to help us move the needle. Um, pangalawa, good good also because ako, I'm an advocate of, you know, um, um, using, you know, pronouns or asking preferred pronouns um, sa mga tao beyond just, you know, the advocacy world. It's in the workplace, you know, in social settings and maganda din if kung are in travel kasi yun nga yung ano natin no if if you you actually um have that option it it empowers you um na recognize ka ng state ng bansa mo na i am not just um in the binary i am beyond that so happy for our um non-binary our um other the other spectrums no of the lgbtqi are ex- mahaba, di ba? So, at least uh, meron tayong um, recognition. And happy for the US and dreaming that it would be um, for us also next uh, election. We Sana vote all. out <laughs> we vote out those who are, you know, um, trampling over our uh, Pero nakakatuwa kasi uh, representation, uh, uh, it sends the signal that uh, 
when a celebrity uh, comes out, it's all it always sends uh, a feeling of hope for those who are not yet. out no and for lgbt kids na makikita nila na oh i can be successful i can be popular too even if i'm L- lgbt kasi di ba tayo iniisip natin na parang we don't i mean probably most of us think na i don't deserve to be loved because i'm not whole i'm lgbt so therefore i need to be extra good in at school extra good in other activities para ma compensate ko yung act king uh disability na pagiging LGBT. So, it's always good uh to hear or to read news about celebrities coming up or popular characters uh coming out as uh, part of the LGBT community. Um hindi lang kami buhay during June. Ah. We exist beyond uh June. So, dapat buong taon um you celebrate pride um in little ways, but for us at the chamber, um yung mga members namin, that's what we're doing. We're asking them to make a commitment to actually um do and spotlight, you know, pride every day. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Nakakapagod. Masaya na nare-represent tayo. Nakakatuwa dahil kasi dati hindi man tayo pinapansin. Pero nakakapagod din. So, sana ma-appreciate din ng mga kabataan, ng mga uh, ibang LGBT um, members, members of the community, yung mga ginagawa natin para sa kanila. Ang pinaka-favorite ko na episode, yung kay Patch Magtano. Beauty ano, kay Binibining Pilipinas International, Miss Attorney Patch Magtanong. Kasi hindi na natin namalayan na patapos na yung show. Ang dami natin gustong itanong sa kanya. Tapos natatandaan ko, kinukulit ko pa siya na kung sasali siya sa susunod na screening for uh, Miss Philippines. Kasi di ba hindi na, hindi na binibini ang may hawak ng Miss Universe. Tapos, oh. nagbibigay siya ng slightly vague answer. Tapos, ang sinasabi niya, uh, meron na siyang work, ganyan. So, parang, ang nakakatawa doon, marami pa lang mga iba pang mga parang outlets na nag-pick up na yung statement niya na hindi na, magtatrabaho na siya sa law firm. Give chance to others. Oh, yeah. Give chance, chance to others. others. Uh, Maraming naghihintay. So, yun. So, parang nakakatawa na dahil sa show natin, lumabas yung statement niya na yun. Tsaka napaka-grasyosang ba? Actually, maganda kasi halos lahat kaibigan natin, no, parang normal lang na kwentuhan ang nangyari sa mga episodes. Um, hindi ko na sasabihin yung nandun ako, pero yung nanonood lang ako. I think yung mga tumatak talaga sa utak ko as a viewer and not part of the host, uh, hosts would be yung com- community pantry. Um, Napaka-powerful nun kasi na-recognize ni Patring yung yung contribution ng ng LGBT community to the movement. So, ang 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 lakas nun and very strong ang statement na yun coming from an ally. And kakakita ko lang yung post niya the other day Um, thanking each and every one in the LGBT community na very present no sa doon sa ano doon sa movement na yon pangalawa siguro is yung uh, hindi rin ako kasama noon pero kasama doon ng kaibigan si Inday uh, veteran ng journalist kore nakakatawa si Ma'am Inday <laughs> oo at ang dami niya talagang na share no na insights at um, ang ang sarap lang pakinggan uh, si Chef Jeannie then when she, she was also on the show discussing you know naman um, history kasi is si Chef Jeannie talaga sa talagang um, iconic na yan sa sa movement sa community natin no at madami pang iba um, discovering like yung mga strong voices in the arts like sila Dash or uh, voices naman in Uh, the media or digital space tulad ni Renz na sobrang fan talaga ako ng batang to ang tapang at you know hindi talaga siya umuurong sa sa pakikipaglaban na, una na natutuwa ako na nagbukas ito ng pagkakataon makipag-usap tayo sa iba't ibang uh, you know level iba't ibang kumbaga representation na kabahagi ng ating komunidad so 
I thought that's a very powerful message uh, for Pride and Proud Asia because wherever you, whoever you are, the 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 door is open for for you. Uh, at least from the chamber side, open to para sa you. So nakakatuwa yon, kasi hindi natin palagi na kausap yung Rare, no? I mean, ako chance man, like si Steffi, natutuwa ako sa kanya. Uh, for example, maka- makakausap, makakilala. I like yung talagang co- conversation about uh, his struggles and uh, his, you know, development uh, and realization and, uh, and, uh, and everything else about him. So I thought that was uh, a good conversation that needs to be heard every day. wherever we are. No? Yung mga ganyang klase yung mga balita, mga usapin. So, nakakatawa kasi, you get to meet them at the same time, um, you broaden your horizons and you also support their businesses. Tapos, nakakatawa kasi tayo-tayo talaga ang magtutulungan. So, yan ang may isip ko kapag uh, ano ang mga magagandang nangyari dito sa V81 stint natin. Sa Pride and Proud Asia, use your voice. Happy Pride! <laughs> Just like any work, we need to protect people uh, yes. in the workplace. We need to have policies that will make sure their rights are also uh, uh, secured and they will not be abused, diba? Nor, uh, parang, diba? Dapat may mga ganun din dapat na nakaset. Yeah. So, kailangan din nating sabihin na hindi lang yung big brands. Para sa mga LGBT na may, may ari na mga businesses, please do connect with the Philippine LGBT Chamber of Commerce because we will be so happy to feature you in our platforms. Para syempre, uh, dumami yung negosyo ninyo, dumami yung kita ninyo, at kapag masaya kayo, masaya rin kami. <laughs> Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.